All right, the teams head back to restart the game here in the corner. Shot seven two funks in this period. As John Romps has done everything humanly possible to keep them in it, but he's not getting any help. Goals by Nick Moser and Keith Ingram are the difference, and you would expect those two to have goals. Here's two nothing. Ingram going for another. That's save two. Eight to two, and shots flying chases this one down. Uh, when the story of this game is written, it's going to be that John Romps did everything he could, but that the other team was just too much. Unless the Snake Eyes can get a quick goal here. Then it might be that Romps' heroics mean something. Into the front, this gets away from everyone. Ingram, breakaway. He's through. Pulls it wide, can't get the shot off. Had Dustin on his tail the whole way. Now he tries his move. Dustin was ready for this one and clears it. Going the other way. And Neil Moser's there first to prevent icing. I'm not entirely sure. I guess they figured that it wouldn't be icing. Bodkin with the clear, looking for Ingram. Around Kiernan. Let's try again. Using his physicality, keeps possession. Inside, nothing there. Now Nick Moser will force, nope, just force a hold. That was not a shot. Shots 8-2 at this point. I want to thank you all if you've been watching all four videos today. Uh, Pro Day has been a lot of fun. Hopefully you get a sense of our top divisions, you get a sense of what the best of the DCHL can bring. And if you want to take part, of course, just get a hold of Sutch Chan. It's available through Meetup. And another save. Shots are, I believe now, nine to two in favor of the Funks as the Snake Eyes try to clear again. And this time they do call icing. So we bring it back the other way. The setup is made. It'll be Revere and Moser to take this one. Moser wins the face off, has it in the corner, gets around Revere. Play to the top where Cantor is. Brown tries to stop it. There's a backhand and it's a save, but the ball is loose and knocked in. Nick Moser with two. I think he knows that puts this game on ice. Shots 11 to two in this game. I believe they're, yeah, Simon's gonna get the assist on that one. Nick Moser from Simon Cantor. 3-0 the score, seven and a half to go. I think that pretty much ends this as a contest. Shots 11 to two in this period. 28 to nine in the game. I really don't know how much more could be done. And if I were the Funks, I would not be worried. I mean, you still have to play hard, of course. But the way that they're playing, there's nothing to worry about. And that's gonna be an icing, so. Sean Bodkin, the offender, gets called off for delayed game. As I've mentioned earlier, with a running clock, the alternative is that when you're up multiple goals in the third, to make sure you don't just ice it all the time, you do get thrown into the penalty box for delayed game. So Ingram, Keller, Doolin, and Cantor to kill. We got Revere, Brown, Farn, and Donner, and Bodden on the power play. Face off one by the Funks. Now Keith Ingram trying to find a way, an alley to get it out of the zone. And we got a penalty the other way. Revere is going to be called for something here. And let's take a look at what the call is. And it's going to be for roughing against the boards and uh, the best chance the Snake Eyes had to get a goal and they uh, immediately surrender a penalty. So it's four on four. So uh, not much of a power play for the Snake Eyes, but if it's an alternative. But the fortunate thing is, not much of a power play for the Funks either when this is over. There's the tie-up, both men still tuck in the zone. And it is Ingram, but it's cleared up. Remember, four on four, so icing applies. Both teams really need to remember that, especially the Funks, because they can go down four on three. Play it up the side. Can they get the zone? Not yet. Kiernan, looking, 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 trying, still stuck in the zone. And finally, the Funks have it. Open 
confusion going forward. And it's Keller up to Ingram. This ball is loose, knocked away by Ronks. Up to Cantor, he has it. Wild shot, that's saved. Shots 12-2 now in the period. The Funkmaster's doing everything right. And it has not been pretty for the Snake Eyes so far. Backhand by Ingram, that's saved. That, that's the kind of game it's been so far. Bodkin there first. The Funkmaster penalty is almost over. Now they'll have a uh, token power play. It really won't be that long. Here he comes. Into the box. That shot is knocked away. Duquette tries. That shot's knocked off of her stick. Now Keller to the back. Kept in by Duquette. To Riker, no. Bodkin will try that save. 14 to two in this period. Are you kidding me? It's just getting more lopsided as the game's gone on. But you would kind of expect there to be shots on a power play. Nonetheless, you would kind of hope the Snake Eyes would put up some fight here. I'm not seeing it though. Neil Moser now. Back to the top. Oh, it gets away from Satan and out. That's their last chance on this power play. Up the side we go as the player comes out of the box. Up the side, uh, on our blind side, Chatan has it. He's looking for Bodkin. He gets around in one man. Kiernan knocks it up to Bodden. Bodden gets around. Now trying to take on Chatan. Can't do it. Up the ways we go. And we have another penalty? Yes, this one's going to be interference on Chatan. Uh, you can protest this, but I have never seen a call change. Lewis has a right to some space. Uh, I, I recommend Keith Ingram really not argue too hard here. Uh, he has dominated the game. His team has dominated. They're up 3 nothing. I mean, it's important to defend your player, but at some point you just got to accept what comes to you. Kiernan with a shot. Off the post! Everybody thought somebody else had it. Kelly Kiernan nearly breaks the deadlock. Stick goes flying. It's Zacharias' stick. Bodden with a shot power play goal. Shots 14 to 3 in this period. Ryan Bodden with it. Zacharias will get the assist. And it's 3 1. Now Andrew brings this one into the zone. He's looking, has Klein guarding him. Up to the top, but there's Ingram. He doesn't clear the zone, he does. He can't ice it, remember. Ball never got across with everyone else. Bodkin, though, under no pressure, really. This is kind of bizarre. What's, what's going on here? No, now they're going to call an offside. That's a very late call. Oh, acting like I didn't hear it. You've got a whistle. Now this one threw everybody back to crying. He's going to look. Ragatani providing some uh, forechecking. Played up. Here's Andrew now. He'll shoot. That's saved. 14 to 4 in shots now. trying to call a timeout, but they used it earlier in the period. Uh, <laughs> crazy as it gets, sometimes you forget that sort of thing, but thankfully the refs did not. No penalty for calling a timeout you don't have. The ref just chooses not to honor it. Cantor plays this one around, gets away from everybody. Zacharias going to keep it in. No. Moser the other way. Moser wants a hat trick. Cuts inside. Shot saved by Romps. Shots 15 to four in this period now. Both teams now set for a quick draw as we have reached the last minute of play. Now suddenly time is of the essence of the Snake Eyes score. Not only do they make it a one goal game, but the clock will stop dead in its tracks. This one gets through everybody. Took a tip along the way, so fine shot not on goal. Donaher and Nick Moser fighting in the corner, nothing there. Brown plays it forward. 
Klein sends it away. And Bobby can't quite control it. Cantor. Riker can't get it through. Mick Moser now. Gains the zone. Donaher sends it away. Two-line pass is to nobody. Cantor has it. He's going to look. Just casually playing it behind there, letting him do whatever he wants. Just gets away from everyone. Romps comes out to play it. Forgoes the icing. Ingram with a shot. That's saved. Can you believe how many shots they've had? 16 here in the third period, and that is why, at the end of the day, two goals from Nick Moser. Another from Keith Ingram. Ryan Bodden had a power play consolation goal. 3-1 the final. We'll be back with Nick Moser, our first star after this.